This will be a spot uh, throw in. He gets it into Robinson. Robinson is happy. Red 10. It's a hold. Two shots. That'll be his third foul. Call the obvious. And when we call the obvious, that means that the person in the top of the arena goes, that was a foul. People want to see the players play basketball. They don't want to see a game that's, you know, a bunch of fouls. We stressed to all of our guys to talk to players, talk to post play early in the game when it's getting rough to try and talk them to just loosen up and get out of fouls. Let them know what limits we're going to give them. You good? Okay, guys, relax. I'll be right there. Two shots. What happened? Watch the elbow. Okay, I'm outside, but I'll watch, all right? I'll try to talk to players early in the game. If they're in the lane for three seconds or borderline three seconds, anyone can blow the whistle and say three second call. I'm like, get out of the lane. Get out of the lane. Get out! Easy, easy, fellas, easy. And then they know because you're five, six, eight, ten feet away. They know you're talking to them, so they kind of ease up. No hands, no hands. Um, if there are a lot of violations of the rules, then we do what we have to do, and that's blow the whistle. But if I can talk to one of the players and tell him, hey, you know, last trip down, you were close on an illegal screen, you got to come to a complete stop. Hey, don't get nothing cheap. Go straight in. All right? Go straight in. Here we go. Instead of putting the second or third foul on the best player for a hand check, I may say, watch your hands, get your hands. I give them an opportunity uh, to back off. No hand, no hand, no hand. So, where a play may be starting to escalate in the post, and uh, you say something, brings it back down, keeps the game flowing, so there's not a foul. Can you take a charge down there? No, it's... One of you guys just took one summer type play like that. Oh, yeah. If I can get near the coach and say, hey, look, I just told number 15, watch his screens, then at that point, everybody's on the same page. So if I have to blow the whistle, then they say, hey, he's, we've been warned about that. One of the things that was told to me early in my career, only blow the whistle when you're right. If it's not right and you don't see what you think you see, don't blow what you don't think you see, blow what you see. Missed calls are hard, it's hard on the referee. They know when they miss it. They have to learn from that mistake. It's rare that you see one of our guys miss the same play twice. Experience pays off. When you know you're wrong on a play, it, it, there's nothing wrong with telling the coach, Coach, I, I missed that play. Most coaches realize, you know what, it, it, takes a, it takes a man to say, I just missed this play when everybody in Serena is booing me and screaming and cussing at me, and I went over and said I missed the play. We know, officials know when you miss a call. It's a tournament, I'm not going to make a big deal, but I that's all it is. I got you. Okay. If that's what happened, then I, I, that's a bad, I mean, bad. That's, 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 like, he that's do, a bad thing. You don't do any of this. That's a turnover on my part. If yeah, that's all it is. If you go over there and you, you've missed a play and you try to give them some bogus excuse, oh my God, you've let up a hornet's nest. No official out there has ever worked a perfect game. So if you're going to work at this level of college basketball, you got to have thick skin, you got to move on, you got to realize you're going to make mistakes. And, uh, I'm still looking for the perfect game. When I get it, uh, I'll walk away and retire. 21. That's 21. It's illegal screen that way. Kevin, it's obvious. On the next episode of Serving the Stripes. Big time game, man. Let's put on a show tonight. Good? No flops? No hooking home. When I get my schedule, I look at two things. One, what's the game? And number two, who's the crew?